and now they will face the Miami Heat in the Eastern Ooh. Conference Finals in what could absolutely Ooh. be kind of a continuation of the series we just saw in terms of two great defensive teams with a couple of elite shot makers on either side. That's it, Matt. The shot makers. Which, right now, just thinking off the top of my head, which bench is going to make shots? Because to your point, they're going to beat each other up around the basket. They're going to defend. Yeah. They're going to rebound the ball. But when it's time to share and kick like Jason Tatum did today, who's going to make those open shots? Who's going to be assigned to Jimmy Butler? Who's yes. going to be assigned to Jason Tatum? Mm -hmm. All that stuff comes into play. All that's going to be fun. Get... The way Bam's been playing, the way Al Horford stepped up against Giannis. So it's good. I mean, inside, outside, it's all going to be fun. I, and to your question, Matt, I think it's going to come down who has more shot makers. Well, we'll see uh, if Miami can hit threes on a regular yep. basis. That That's was a it. problem in the Philadelphia series mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Even though they were number one in the league in three-point shooting in the regular season, didn't always come into play against Philadelphia. Boston, obviously, is going to try to take that away. That's going to be the key. But we know Miami's tough. But what Boston just showed us today, they're just as tough. Mm -hmm. So now who's going to play smarter is going to be the key. Because it's not going to be like, I'm stronger than you. I'm going, no, both teams are no, strong. No. Both teams are rebound. Not going to be 140 to exactly. 135 yeah. games. No, no, it might be an old back. When mm -hmm. we play a 90s game, it might be in the high 70s, maybe low 80s. But then down the stretch, what does it come down to? Shot making. Because both teams are willing to share the ball. So who has enough shot makers on the floor in the fourth quarter to win the ball game? Shot making and, and maybe big stops like the one we saw in the bubble a couple of years ago That's when right. these two teams hooked up. One of the great defensive plays in playoff history is Get that shot out of here! Bam My name is Bam! Bio comes over to turn away Ooh Jason wee. Tatum at the rim. Almost forgot about that Matt you brought up. Oh, it's still, still the upstairs bubble. knows how I get crazy. Get that out of here and don't bring it back. Still bubble fresh. My goodness, he got me out of my seat over That here, is Matt. one of the, as good a defensive play you'll see in a, in a pressure playoff situation ever. Ever. But once again, Matt, Jason Tatum did that a few years ago. Bam did that a few years ago. Look how much better both of those guys have gotten since then. So that's why this series is going to be must-see TV and it's the Eastern Conference Finals. Uh, the Heat will come in. You hope Kyle Lowry is healthy for this series. Yep. Had the hamstring issue back in Philadelphia. Um, but otherwise, it just sets up to be a knockdown, drag-out, classic sort of defensive-minded slugfest. And Matt, you've been around us long enough. Which coaching staff is sitting in the war room now saying, where do we really think we have an advantage? Is that the point guard position? Is that the two? Should we go small? Should we go big? And I think which team figures that out, I think will kind of set the tone, as we like to say, for the series. Is it the matchup with Jimmy Butler guarding Jason Tatum? Or will that wear Jimmy Butler down on the offensive end? Because to guard Jason Tatum, you want to use a lot of energy to try to sure, slow yeah. him down. So a little chess move like that, try to figure out which coach is going to do that. And have P.J. Tucker and others available for those assignments from and, Miami? And that was his role last year in Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. and I was telling the kids earlier today, P.J. Tucker played 38 minutes, took one shot, yep. played defensive rebound, and got him a championship ring for that. That is why he's out there. So we want uh, to get your thoughts on as well the result of the Eastern Conference Finals. Heat, Heat, Celtics, Celtics, let us know what you think. Do you have a, a feeling on this early on? Early on, Game Seven, home it team. It feels like Game yeah, Seven, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm gonna play it safe right now. Today. Feels like a Game yeah, Seven yeah, toss-up yeah, if yeah, everyone's healthy. Yeah. Every, everyone healthy, but to your point, Kyle Lowry is a huge part of what they do. But I, I think what Boston showed us today, and we and obviously Miami did what they did to Philly. I think it goes seven. Just the uh, the savvy and gamesmanship between Marcus Smart and Kyle Lowry over oh, the course of a seven-game series.